All right, we're back. Drawing number two on the butcher paper. Same model as this one that we just did. This one has a little bit more detail. Um, yeah, I am going to use my brand new king size dollar store Sharpie again. And yes, I'm still wearing my slides. Like I said, they're my slippers. Mm -hmm. Be kind to your feet. I walked almost uh, 20,000 steps today. So my feet are a little bit sore. <laughs> So yeah, here we go. Um, where to start? Where to start? Let's see. Um, I think I'm gonna start here. Just gonna go slowly. Here we go. If I go slowly, my line is thicker and smoother. So that's actually really cool. Cool to know. I'm wearing my pajamas. I am kind of in relaxation mode <laughs> a little bit. Oh, this marker has a nice fine point so that I can do the eye detail, which I love so much. A lot of what I love about these drawings is a finer point. I'm going to do this one little swipe of hair. Ooh, looks good, eh? It's just so smooth. I love it. And as an aside, this marker was $2 at the dollar store. I bet you if I bought it at an art supply store, it would have been like about four or five dollars. Doing really good with smoothness. breaking up at all and I'm going nice and slow uh, this model's name is Amanda same as the one that we did in the first of this uh, butcher paper series and she's actually wearing my uh, leather coat in this and this leather coat has a story it was featured in uh an emily carr grad project this year for sustainability this leather jacket is a macage leather jacket um from aritzia it is retails for I don't know, maybe close to like a thousand dollars. It's a special edition, uh, different type of leather. And I got it in Toronto at a thrift store called the Design Exchange. So they're out of business now. Um, they went out of business about a year ago. But they were this really cool consignment store that would give you cash for your clothing, or they would take your clothing in, sell it, and you could have an account. So me being the regular kind of thrift shop person, I used to do both. I would bring things, sometimes I would sell, and sometimes I would just leave it on my account. And I was in there one day and a lady came in and put a giant pile of stuff on the counter and I spotted this jacket right away. I knew it right away. I'd been seeing it in Aritzia. Um, they have them all locked up in the store as you typically do leather jackets. And I waited for her to leave and I went over to the counter and I asked the guy, I said, are you gonna price that right now? 
And he said, why? I said, well, depending on how much the price is, I will buy it. So he said, how about a hundred bucks? And I said, sold. And I wore this when I was shooting Fashion Week. And people noticed because like I said, it's one of a kind collection. Aritzia has a regular stock of leather jackets. This was something that they did special. The tan of the hide is special. It's black and the consistency of the leather is special. And I got noticed with this $100 thrifted macage jacket. And I use it a lot in my shoots. And we're done. What do you think? I think it's great. All right, so I have two more already to go, um, already drawn uh, in pencil. So I'm gonna cut these two off and then I'm gonna roll the other two back and we're gonna do those two together. Have a good night, guys. Cheers.